Okay everyone, so in this video I'm gonna show you my overclocking settings for my GTX 1070, alright? So uh, by adding these settings I get about 28 plus megahertz per second and the GPU we are talking about today is this one, GTX 1070, alright? Okay, so let's go and overclock my GTX 1070. Okay everyone, so this is just a preview uh, of my overclocking settings, uh, which shows that I will get uh, 28.10 MHz per second when adding my overclocking settings to this uh, GTX 1070. And also disclaimer, this is just my overclocking settings for my GTX 1070. It's up to you if you want to use them, I'm not responsible for any damage, alright? So if you don't know you want to do this, just don't do it, because this is just me showing what works for me. Okay, so let's go and add some overclocking settings to this GTX 1070. Okay, so first we're gonna go and install MSI Afterburner if you don't have it already. All you have to do is just open up a browser, go to google.com, search for MSI Afterburner. Go to this one, msi.com. And now go to this one, MSI Afterburner, download Afterburner. Just download this uh, software and install it. And after that, you should see this uh, MSI Afterburner icon. All right. Now we're going to open up MSI Afterburner. Click on Yes. Now we can see the MSI Afterburner. If you don't have the same layout, you can always go to Settings and go to user interface go down to this one user interface skinning properties and just go down and choose this one MSI Mystic Afterburner skin by Dredrex Design and you can also uh, do a skin scaling if you want to have a bigger layout or smaller like this after that just click on apply and after that just click on OK and now we should have the same layout as I do OK so without any overclocking settings I get uh, for my MSI GTX 1070 25.98 uh, MHz per second alright so this is where we will start and we want to try to get this to over 28 MHz per second OK so in your MSI afterburner we're gonna go and click on this arrow we're gonna find our uh, GTX 1070, click on that and just close it by clicking on the arrow. Now make sure that you have the correct uh, GPU, so mine is GeForce GTX 1070, alright? So first we're gonna go to core clock. I'm gonna change this to plus 160, hit enter, like so. After that we're gonna go to memory clock, so just click right here and I'm gonna add 450 like so hit enter and we have power limit I'm gonna add this at 65 hit enter and now you can choose if you want to have auto fan speed or you can just uncheck this one and you can increase the fan speed to maybe 70 80 so this you have to test out and see how hot your card will be uh, if you have like 66 or below, you will have a safe zone on T-Rex, it will apply as green. So just play around with the fan speed, I'm just gonna choose auto. And after that, we are just gonna click on this one, check mark, to apply the settings to our software miner. In my case, I'm using T-Rex. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so now we got 26.52 MHz per second. Alright, so now we got 27.45 MHz per second. And now we got 28.06 MHz per second. We got uh, 62 Celsius, so we have this green color. That means it's uh, uh, not too hot. Otherwise it would be at 67, it's uh, yellow, and after that it's red then you should check your fan speed all right so this is my settings for my gtx 1070 uh, please comment below uh, your results when you apply these settings 
Okay everyone, so I hope this video helped you out. Uh, if you want more of these videos, I have a playlist with other GPUs as well. As you can see, I have many different GPUs with some overclocking settings videos. Alright, so make sure to subscribe and have an awesome day. Take care and bye.